guys welcome back to my channel today's look is going to be a very sexy neutral club look with some bright pink lips first of all I'm gonna start out with my Sunita's vitamin C moisturizer and I'm just gonna work that into the skin following that is going to be the Ramil fix and perfect pro primer sorry I can't speak today and I'm gonna do some color correcting with the LA girl pro conceal orange corrector and I just use this dual fiber brush to blend it in and doing this pretty much stops me from having to use so much foundation and I'm not a big foundation wearer but uh, I kind of like the one that I'm about to use I do under my eyes as well because there's a little bit of darkness there and I don't like a lot of product underneath my eyes and I, I just love the product it, it, it works so well into the skin moving on to the face I'm gonna use the covergirl queen collection spice in spicy brown sorry and I'm just using this on a real technique sponge the coverage is buildable it's medium um, to buildable you can get full coverage out of this but I just pretty much use one layer and I went over my lip my upper lip just to make sure that the darkness was gone then under my eye, I highlighted with fawn and coffee and to be honest, that was a little bright for me at the time. So I just took the excess from one eye and worked it underneath the other and then I took my Real Technique sponge again and I blended. I had to cut out some of that but I blended so much. Then just highlighting my chin and the bridge of my nose and my forehead just a little bit to give my face some dimension. Moving on to the eyes, I did a little bit of priming with Lorac Pro Primer and I'm just using a pencil, just a dark brown pencil. I somehow like pencils a lot and just easy to do especially when you're in a rush and I just generally follow the shape of my, my natural eyebrows and here I'm just cleaning up with LA Girl. I think this one was toffee and blending it out with a dual fiber brush as well. Going into makeup geek frappe, I'm gonna put that all over the lid just to set the primer that I have there. Then I'm going to take Beaches and Cream as my highlight, my absolute favorite highlight. And all the shades that I'm gonna be using are matte. Then I'm gonna take the brush that I used before, which is also a real techniques brush, and just blend out the crease. And here I'm just putting a little bit of mocha in the crease to darken it up to give it a little bit of dimension. Blend in again and I'm going to use, this is a NYX eyeliner, I can't remember the name of it and I just did pretty much a small little wing and I also added a purple line, a wing, wing on top of this wing but you didn't really see it. I didn't feel as though it was showing up enough for me to show it but in some other clips you're going to see it. Then I'm going to take this black from Makeup Beat as well. And I'm just going to run it under my lash line and connect it to the wing. But I'm not going to bring it all the way in. I'm going to leave the inner third of my eye pretty much open. And I'm just blending out the bottom of that black with some more mocha. And in the inner corners, I'm highlighting with beaches and cream. I just took a black pencil and did a little bit of darkening up of my waterline and added some mascara. If you wanted to add lashes, you could. But I just moved on to my face and I set everything with my matte mineralized skin finish and I did a little bit of contour with the Makeup Geek Mocha which to me is a perfect contour shade because it's very cool tone, slightly grey so it looks more of a natural contour than anything else and I just used this lightly and then I blended it out with my Real Techniques brush. I also added some big blush from Milani and lipstick of course was flat out fabulous one of my favorites and this video is just not doing it justice it just is not so guys i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial give me a thumbs up and a like and i will see y'all guys next time bye